All right. The curtain has gone up on Super Mario Bros. 3 for NES. Now, this was made solely by Nintendo, and I think that's enough of an introduction. For anybody who's a gamer, you should know what the fuck this is. On a side note, I always felt this title sequence should have had sound effects and music. Eh, whatever. Let's get going. Now, the world record for Super Mario Bros. 3 without any, like, glitch warping is 10 minutes and 42 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. So if I get a sub-13 minute run, I'm good. But uh, the whole point of World 1 is just to get the two whistles as fast as you can and then get on to World 8. Also, getting those uh, star cards at the bottom, we do not want to get a three set of anything. That'll just slow us down. Uh, the first stage's goal for me was just to get the fucking raccoon tail. And then on this one, we're just gonna bounce our way through it. The tail is really just for a safety net at this point. We don't really actually need it, and we're only gonna keep it to world 8. And then we're gonna swap over to the fire flower. Ah, shit. Well, we got two stars. But, uh, this is the first stage that we'll get the, uh, a whistle in. And what I'm gonna do is just bounce and float through most of it. I, I really should have hit maximum speed before doing that, but it was smooth, it was just a little slower. So we're gonna fall behind the bushes here, and then we're gonna go grab that first whistle. I would like to know where in the fuck Toad got this whistle from. Like, who the fuck did Toad rob to get that whistle? It's too nice for him. <laughs> now, we're at the castle. This is where we're going to get the second whistle. And it's really not a big deal. Just hit max speed, run under that fucking disco ball, and fly up here. So right now, we're actually on a fairly decent pace. We got this second whistle at about two minutes. So now we're just going to whistle our fucking way right out of here. <laughs> We're gonna take a page out of Simon Belmont's book and ride the tornado to World 8. Now, these stages, like the tank, the boat, and the airship, you really can't do anything about the speed of these stages. You can't speed them up. <laughs> So, you really just want to be careful and intentional, very deliberate at the same time. Know where you're jumping to and jump to there. Don't try to be flashy, but at the same time, take out those manhole dudes. Those flat-topped, fucking wrench-wielding motherfuckers can fuck up a run with a quickness. I mean, if they've thrown that wrench and then you kill them, that wrench can stay on the screen for like 30 seconds. If it's going right instead of left, that thing can just follow you. It'll, it'll fuck up a run with a quickness, boy. Now, up to this point, you could have taken one hit because there's actually a leaf in that box right there. It's kind of a bitch to get if you don't have a tail. <laughs> Because you got to slide under it and then hit the box and grab it that way. Which can be a pain in the ass with the limited amount of time that you actually have. Man, that was close. See, taking those guys out with the, 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 the tail there is a pain in the ass. Because you either have to land on them. Which opens you up to getting hit with a wrench. God damn, that's a big cannon. <laughs> um... Or you have to hit them with your tail, and that just... Yeah, that was close. Jump. Pow! Hit the wall and go back. There we go. But like I was saying, it can be dangerous because you got to get really close with that tail to hit the manhole guys with it. And that'll just open you up to getting hit in the face with a fucking wrench. Now, this is the hardest jump in the game for the speedrun. You have to run full tilt over here. Run, hit that. Ah, fucked it. Oh, holy shit! Okay, go. Whew. I can't believe I did that. 
for some, I, I don't know why, but it gave me the flower through the box. Because normally you have to jump up and over while ducking to grab it, but whatever, I'll take that shit. Because if I wouldn't have got that, then that would have just fucked up my whole run. I need to, <laughs> you, like, I have no choice, you have to have the fire flower. It makes the stages a little harder, but it also lets you go Hudson and just blast these fools like a motherfucker. Duck! That was close. He almost took a wrench in the back of the head, and that motherfucker was already dead. <laughs> but like I was saying, you have to have the Fire Flower power. It's the quickest way to take out the, uh, the mini-bosses and Bowser himself. There's no, oh, I have to jump on your head three times, or, like, Bowser, I have to wait for your big ass to break through the floor. There is none of that. And going through that tube, uh, if you hit these guys five times, it kills them flat, so no three jumps. But as I was about to say, going through that tube is the only way you can speed these stages up. Is the minute that tube allows you, go down it figures. I say that, and then fuck up going down a tube. How lovely. Holy shit! Normally you have to fight at least one of those stages. I can't believe it let me skip all three. Fucking A, man. I even stalled on the first one. I just fucked up. I assumed I was gonna have to fucking go. Um, anyway. Uh, this stage is just as fucked up as the lava stage. I mean, if you fall, you're dead. That's really what it boils down to. It's a little more of a pain in the ass because the uh, platforms you have are way smaller, and most of them have one of those manhole dudes. Wah! That was in my butt crack. Um, one of those manhole dudes on it. Little glory hole guys. With Damn, that was close. With fucking wrenches. But at least we're out of it. Alright, two shots, two shots, one shot, done! There we go. I ah, fucked up the jump a little bit, but whatever. Seven minutes. We're on pace to get sub-13 right now. Lucky as fuck getting past that bridge, though. That was fucking lucky! Alright, at least I didn't fuck that up. Alright, stage one. Now, this stage is kind of messed up. Because you have to make a couple of jumps and fire mid-air to get through it but I'm going to do it a little differently than normal after this point right here. Now, you're supposed to hit maximum speed and just keep jumping, but I'm going to use these bullets to kind of help me progress through the stage without having to stop. See, I, I still stopped, so I fucked up a little bit, but no whammy, no whammy! Ah! There we go. Whew. If I would have got a star, that would have fucked me up too, because then we would have had to sit here for like 20 seconds counting the extra lives. Now this stage can be a pain in the ass too. Once you hit maximum speed, you got to make sure you don't fuck up these notes. And when you're going up the hill, you got to make sure to fire and jump at the same time. And occasionally when you run down here and bounce off of that motherfucker, the sun will get in the way and fuck up the whole thing. So those are the two things you really got to try to not fuck up on this stage, is bouncing off of the notes and not letting the sun trip you. Now we're going to take a hit right here just so that we can easily go through that without having to worry about it, because there's another fire flower right there, and just bounce off of him and then go through this door right here. Now the second you come through the door, you're going to be on a conveyor belt, so you're going to want to do two very specific jumps. And then come through here and go through this door. And from here, we're just going to hit full speed. Just run as fast as you can and jump, go through the door, and then stall for a second. And then full tilt and go through this door. Now, duck. And as soon as we get out from underneath these spikes, we're going to jump and throw two or fuck it up. But there's two fireballs, two more. One Oof. Damn, that was fucking close. I'm glad that fireball hit him because he was about to fucking stick his hand in my butt. <laughs> that would have fucked everything up. Alright, here we go. The last... Don't fuck it up, don't fuck it up. Okay, there we go. I usually fuck that jump up. And we got the last uh, tank stage, which again, we have no control over how fast this moves. 
it's safest to just go to the far right side for this first part. You know, pay attention, but staying on the right side is just, it makes it easier. But after we get past this first platform, you're going to want to stay more toward the middle. On this one, though, just fucking go machine gun, because there are five uh, glory hole hounds on this platform alone. And you are oh, six, actually, my bad. I thought there were only five or six. You thought I forgot about you? I didn't forget about you! See how long that wrench stays on the screen? That's why you want to get rid of those holes as fast as you can. Because even after they're dead, that wrench can just fuck you up. Now, fortunately, we're on a tank stage, so if you fall off the platform, you're not instantly dead, like the airship or the boat. But And this is actually a fairly short one, because we're done already. Down the tube, and drop the fireballs while falling down. Damn. Uh, I fucked that pattern all kinds of up. I'm trying to tell you the pattern while doing the pattern. Just fuck the whole pattern up. <laughs> Either way, so here we are. Bowser's Castle. And we're just under 11 minutes. I think it's guaranteed I got less than 13 as long as I don't fuck it up. There we go. Now, that door down there, if you jump through... You can actually glitch through the wall to end up right here. So you don't have to go up and over. And then the next clipping trick we're going to do is right here, and it's easy as hell. Just get halfway under that, or fuck it up like that. Get halfway under it, duck, and then jump, and it'll force you through the wall. No nothing. Anybody can do that. Now these are a little nerve-wracking, especially this last one, because you kind of have to let it fall before jumping. There we go. All right. One big jump. And as far as my experience is, if you do it this way, only the first one will shoot at you. And then we can do this part a little quicker. Just skip that last one and go through the door. Alright, here we go. Bowser. Now what we're going to do is get right on top and just blast him in the face with fucking fireballs. Get out of the way. Blast him. For some reason, when he starts shooting his fireball, it fucks up you being able to shoot yours. I don't know why. But if you just jump around, land on his head, and keep shooting like that, he's done. Boom. Guaranteed let. Damn it. Fuck yes. Less than... 12.30. Fucking awesome. But doing it that way with the fireballs makes it so you don't have to worry about him trying to bust through the floor and all that happy shit. Come on. 12.20. Fucking A. Less than 13 minutes. Less than 12 minutes and 30 seconds. I'm happy. How'd you get kidnapped, bitch? How? This is like ninth time. But our princess is... Don't give me that princess is in another castle shit. I will slap that crown off your head as well as the pink off that dress, bitch. That ain't funny. That ain't funny. How many times did he save you in, in Super Mario Bros. 1? What, eight times? This is like the ninth time he had to save your ass? Super Mario Bros. 2 don't make up for that shit. <laughs> Spoiled bitch. I always want you to save her. What's fucked up is that uh, this game doesn't have any credits for the people who made it. <laughs> they, they gave credits to the worlds in the game. You, you gave credits to the worlds that those people made, but not those people who made the worlds. That's fucked up. That's just how draconian fucking Nintendo was in the 80s, boy. <laughs> they didn't give you no credit, and they didn't give you no damn money. <laughs> It is fucked up, though. You're gonna give credit to Worlds 1 through 8. You don't even give credit to the characters, the sprites, nothing. <laughs> That's messed up. But either way, uh, there is the speedrun su for Super Mario Bros. 3. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Um, I think the next speedrun is gonna be uh, Dino Crisis for PlayStation 1. So, there's something to look forward to. <laughs> But either way, uh, thank you for watching. There's my speed run. That's about it. Peace!